Hi everyone, this is Sherry from Planning Peep and welcome back to my channel. Today I will be doing my spread and this is for the week of February 3rd through the 9th, which was last week. So I'm going to be memory planning this since the week is already over. Um, for this week I have a photograph kit that I wanted to use. This is from a shop called Laban Forest and I just realized that her logo is not on any of these sheets. So um, it's good that I remember which shop I got it from. Um, I picked this up quite a while ago, like at, maybe at the beginning of November or December. Um, and I really really like it I think it's like super perfect for winter so I'm excited to use this here we have the eight full boxes and they are photographs we've got some quarter boxes at the bottom and then icons on the side on the second page we have a weekend banner we have some little things heart check flags um, headers and then these like half boxes that have different patterns on the inside this next page has some full box checklists and then we have three habit trackers and I thought this was a washi strip but it's actually cut so they're kind of like quarter box sized um, bow headers I guess and the last page has the bottom washi. We have some date covers, some more little things, a Monday through Sunday box for the sidebar and then some um, TV little things here on the side. So she definitely squeezes quite a lot of different things into the kits. I will need to pull in some more quarter boxes and more half boxes because I do like using those. So I will have to scour through my leftover stash to see what I can find that matches this kit. And yeah, without further ado, I want to go ahead and jump right in. So the first thing as usual is I want to place down my bottom washi and then I will continue to build my spread from there. For my bottom washi this week, I decided to pull in some Simply Gilded washi. I have this one in my collection that is a lavender with some silver foil, and I just thought this matched the kit really nicely with that purple color. Um, I paired that with the larger strip of washi, but I did realize that her washi strips are cut a little bit too short, especially that longer piece, and so I did have to do a little bit of sticker surgery to make it all work. I used that little piece of washi that I had trimmed off um, and just added it to the side so that I could elongate the bottom washi. And and it worked pretty well for what I needed. Um, so once I finish on both sides, I go ahead and move to my sidebar. For my sidebar, I put down a full box at the very top. I chose that quote box, which says Frosty, and then I cut down a strip of that washi that I didn't end up using um, to create kind of a header for my sidebar. I do change that out later on, so you will see that in a couple moments. Um, I put down a habit tracker to track my working out, and then I put down a little things and covered up the icon with this bow circle icon instead, um, and I was going to use that to mark my happy moments of the week. I also placed down a heart checklist to mark that, and then I at the bottom, I pulled in a Meals Little Things with this Monday through Sunday box to track my dinners. And then to finish out that space, I cut up another strip of the bottom washi that I didn't end up using. Although this kit did come with date covers, I decided not to use them this week because I was planning to kind of create a spread that had a lot of white space. Um, so I just figured that I would leave the date cover section blank. And then I placed down a today header on Monday before I moved back to the sidebar. And like I mentioned, I switched out that washi strip and put down the Simply Gilded washi instead. Moving back to Monday, I put down a coffee sticker from what used to be Toffee Bananas, but now her shop is called Paper Shire. I finally remember the name of her new shop and I'm very proud of myself. Um, the brush lettering pen that I'm using this week is from Pilot. And for this week, I decided to use kind of really bold writing. So I am using my Paper Mate Enjoy Gel Pen in 0.7. And um, it was just kind of the look that I wanted to go for this week. I had a busy day at work, so I pulled in this laptop emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that, and then I used a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark my IEP meeting that afternoon. I placed down a full box at the very bottom, and then in the remaining space, I used a to-do header with a three heart checklist. I just cut it down to three hearts because I think they originally came with five or six, and I did trim off a little bit from the full box, so I had more white space in that section. I filled out my to-do list and because I did work out that day, I pulled in this workout sticker from Thule Plans to mark that. That was it for Monday, so now I'm just moving on to Tuesday. For Tuesday, I decided to put down a full box at the very top, and then underneath that, I put down a quarter box with this coffee sticker from Sweet Ava's Paper to mark that I had some leftover chai tea latte um, from a couple days ago when I went to grab some coffee with a friend. 
I had another busy day on Tuesday and initially I pulled in this flat lace sticker from Toffee Bananas. Like I said, I was really going for that bold, cute doodly look for this week and I thought that matched really well but I ended up realizing that I would run out of space to mark everything I wanted on Tuesday. So I decided to switch that up and I fixed my writing so that it was just on one side. And I also pulled in this Laptop Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. to mark my busy day at work. I cut up a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi and then underneath that, I used a little things and put this like pencil icon on top of it um, to mark a meeting that I had that afternoon. And then I used a half box with a happy hour sticker from Paper and Milk to mark that I went and grabbed happy hour with some of my coworkers. And then that drink sticker is from the Coffee Monsters Co. At the very bottom, I used this camera sticker from Sticker Blush to mark that I filmed a plan with me that night when I got home. Moving on to Wednesday, the first thing I do is place down a to-do header at the very top, and then I used another quarter box with a laptop sticker, I think that's from Nicole Hutch Designs, um, to mark that I worked on reports that morning, and then um, I was heading off campus to do a private school observation, so before I went to the school, I actually picked up some Del Taco for lunch, so to mark my lunch, I used a taco sticker from a Happy Blue Tree. To mark my observation, I pulled in this pencil sticker from Nikki Plus 3, and then I put down a full box underneath that. I then used a Today header and cut up a heart checklist into four hearts to mark the things that I did later that day. I finally got a car wash, which was really nice because now my car is nice and clean. And then I did some groceries and then edited a plan with me at the end of the night. Um, to mark all the grocery shopping that I did, I pulled in this grocery icon from Paper and Milk. For Thursday, I first placed down a full box at the very bottom and then I moved back to the top and the first thing I put down is a strip of the Simply Gilded Washi. Underneath that, I had a testing appointment with a student, so to mark that, I pulled in this really cute like notebook paper sticker that's from Mochi Kichi and I just noted the testing appointment that I had. To mark an IEP I had later that day, I put down a half box and the flag sticker is from Echo Hui Craft Co and I just go ahead and write IEP in the center of the flag. I then did a workout when I got home, so I used this workout girl sticker from Whimsical Cat Studios. I didn't actually use a treadmill because I usually just work out at home using like YouTube videos and stuff, but um, I felt like that sticker matched the kit really well because it has those shades of pink and purple, so I decided to use it anyway. We then did date night that night, and so to mark that, I brush lettered date night and pulled in this cute couple Maru sticker from Paper and Milk. For Friday, the first thing I do is place down a full box at the very top, and then underneath that I used a quarter box with a coffee sticker from Paper and Milk to mark my usual Friday coffee that I love to get. I then put down a half box with an IEP flag from Lily Grove Designs to mark an IEP I had that day, and then I decided to start from the bottom so I could space things out nicely. Um, that night, a couple of my friends and I went out because there was a bar that was doing um, like a 90s night where they had a 90s cover band playing. Um, we've seen this band a couple times and we really like them, so we wanted to go watch them again. And to mark that, I used a flag sticker from The Creative Cellar and this Beer Girl sticker from Paper Bear Co. To mark some things I did before going out that night, um, I put down a today header with a three heart checklist to mark some of those things. And it was actually one of those nights where it was really hard to get off the couch um, just because it was like really cold and I was super cozy. So I decided to use this um, cozy emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. For the weekend, I decided to use that leftover piece of washi and I just go ahead and lay it across the top. And then I put down the weekend banner from the kit directly over it. On Saturday, we had a super lazy day, so I decided to use this girl sticker from Paper Bear Co., and she's just like cozied up in the bed um, on her laptop, like probably watching Netflix, which is pretty much what I did for a good part of the day. Um, so anyways, I thought that sticker was super perfect. I then used another strip of Simply Gilded Washi and put down a full box underneath. At the very bottom, I put down a half box. I then used a little things with this laundry emoji from the Coffee Monsters Co. to mark that I did do some laundry on Saturday, so I guess it wasn't a complete lazy day. And then we went and grabbed some boba, so I used this boba sticker, and I believe that's from a shop that's no longer open. At the end of the night, we watched a movie because one of my 20 in 2020 goals is to watch a new movie every month. So I put down this popcorn sticker, which I think is from Sunset Sticker Co. And then I go ahead and write down the movie that we watched, which was Chef. And it was actually really good. I really enjoyed it and I'm really glad we watched it. 
Moving to Sunday, I first put down a full box at the very bottom, and then at the top, I put down a to-do header with a three-heart checklist to mark some things that I did that morning. Um, it was actually all these different grocery stores that I went to because I was going to a Galentine's brunch at my friend's house, and I wanted to make like a pull-apart bread, so I was searching for like a full loaf of uncut sourdough bread, and oh my goodness, it was so hard to find. It literally took going to three different grocery stores before I finally found one. I then put down a half box to mark that Galentine's Day brunch. I mentioned and the pancake sticker is from Kina Prince. It turned out to be really fun and I got to meet some new girlfriends um, so that's always a good time and then on the quarter box that I put down earlier I used this taco sticker from Plans with Finesse to mark that I grabbed some burritos um, for dinner on the way home and then I trimmed off a little bit from the full box so I could fit this credit card sticker that's from I think the Sparkly Studio and I just go ahead and use that to mark that I went to Target really quick that night. That's it for the week, so I go ahead and move back to the sidebar to track all my workouts, my happy moments, and my dinners. Um, so I don't think I've ever explained this, but I've been doing this for quite some time, where if I only have a box that has six hearts or six spaces for my happy moments, I just choose one happy moment from the weekend. Before I finished with the spread, I was looking it over and I just felt like there was too much white space on Thursday, which is like the center of the day. And so I decided to add a quarter box from my leftover stash and I go ahead and brush letter date night on that quarter box and then actually move the um, Maru sticker on top of it. I know it probably didn't make much of a difference, but I think personally, I just like that a lot better. So anyways, I'm glad I did that. Um, now I'm just showing you these stickers that I have left in this kit. And for my little wiggle this week, um, I actually decided not to pull in a whole lot of foils. The only foiling is from the Simply Gilded Washi, but I still kind of wanted you guys to see that. And I actually still decided to do a walkthrough for this week because um, even though there's not a lot of foiling, I still wanted you guys to be able to see some of the details from this spread. And I feel like it's been a while since I've done a spread like this where um, it's really bold and bright and just like lots of cutesy icons. And I really kind of miss this style. So I was really excited to be able to do this. I feel like it's more reminiscent of my earlier planning style and yeah it just feels really refreshing to get to plan like this sometimes um so anyways i hope you guys enjoyed this i personally love how this turned out these colors are so so pretty i love anytime i do purple spreads i just feel like they always turn out to be my favorite so yeah if you guys have any questions please let me know and as always thank you guys so much for watching my videos and for supporting my channel so with that i'm going to conclude this video i hope you guys have a wonderful week and i will talk to you guys next time bye